What do Albert Einstein and Martin Luther King Jr. have in common? They're two of the most famous Nobel Prize winners. Now a su study suggests Nobel Prize winners are more likely to come from countries who may have stronger sex drives. Hmm. I, I don't know. I always get nervous when I read studies and I headlines like this because I think that you can collect a lot of data on how many Nobel Prizes go to a particular country and then how often people have sex in a different country. And then people start to associate this causality that, oh, you have more sex, you must be smarter. And I don't know if it, that's really a causal link in any way. Well, this, this study was looking at testosterone levels, which, you know, they'll say, oh, if you have higher testosterone levels, you're going to have more sex. But there are some studies out there that looked at prenatal exposure to testosterone and potentially higher IQ scores. I don't know. Again, I, I think you have to really look at headlines, especially medical headlines, with a grain of salt sometimes. Because you, if you study or you take a survey and you get these numbers that are completely unrelated, and then you try to associate them causally when that link doesn't exist, I think you can draw some really misleading conclusions. I think it's great to have a good sex drive. I'm sure testosterone makes you creative. I think there are a lot of things that are probably really positive about this. But uh, I, I don't know if I would cite well, Albert king, Einstein's well, I started. I started getting testosterone injections last night because I want a Nobel <laughs> Surprise!